Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mega Matt 21. Um, I'm a friend of TJ Kitsune's. Uh, I just started thinking about making videos um, for my channel. I wasn't going to at first, but I thought, hey, what the heck, why not? And for my first video here, we're going to do a pickups video for the month of June. So, uh, first thing I want to go over is uh, one of the game stores I normally go to in the Rockford region. It's in the Midwest. Illinois is a disc replay. They've been getting in a lot of nice stuff in lately. Um, if you watch the last pickup video of TJ Kitsune's channel, you notice I picked up a, quite a bit of stuff there. But I found these two Super Nintendo games, and it was one is Gradius 3 for Super Nintendo. Pretty cool title. And then I got a copy of Super Metroid. Never never played this, never gone through it or anything, so I thought that was cool to have. Um, and then the following week I was in there. Actually, I wasn't in there. I was uh, getting my hair cut, and uh, it's right by there. And this kid came by, and he's like, oh, they have a game there, but I don't have the money for it. So it was a game I'd been looking for quite a while. So I ran over there and they had it in the case and I finally found a copy of Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo. Really cool title. And then while I was there, since they know me, they're like, well, we got some stuff in the back. You want to look at it? And I'm like, yeah, why not? I'm here. So I was digging through a lot of modern stuff, nothing really great. But I did find a copy of Super Smash Brothers for the N64. So that's that was pretty cool. So... Then about the second week, uh, Jason calls me and he went to a local flea market uh, about a week before he called me and he found some really cool like Sega Saturn stuff and the guy he was talking to said he had a store in southern Illinois and he had some N64 stuff and some of you, I've been, I've been collecting the colored N64s for a while and I've been wanting to complete my set and everything. So he gives it, he's like, well, we should take a ride. I was like, okay. So he gave him a call and uh, he calls me back and he's like, never mind. He doesn't have anything right now. So that was kind of a bummer. I'm like, well, do you want to go like up to Milwaukee maybe? And he's like, why? What's in Milwaukee? I'm like, I don't know, road trip, game hunting, you know? So anyway, he's like, well, I'll give uh, the couple stores a call. So he called one of the, uh, they have uh, Mega Media Exchange up there. Called them up and asked if they had any colored N64s. And she's like, yes, we have a few. So me and him took a road trip. I actually, my wife tagged along, which is, <laughs> she just was bored, so she just wanted to tag along. So anyway, we get there. And I see the colored N64s, and the first thing I noticed when I walked in is they had a ton of boxed games, like a lot of box titles you would never expect to see in just a regular game store. Uh, I mentioned a few. They had Chrono Trigger complete in the box. You know, box was really nice shape. Um, they had Donkey Kong 64 in the box. They had Contra in the box. Uh, just, just to name a few. So I was looking through there, and there was a couple games that I just I couldn't pass up on because why my name is Mega Man as as my channel. I love Mega Man, so and I've been trying to get Mega Man's complete in box. So I ended up seeing and snagging Mega Man Four, which was pretty awesome. Card it comes with the manual. It's in the back there. And then I was not going to pick this one up because it was a little high in price, but I thought, you know what, I'm probably never going to see this again. And I just had to grab it, so I got Mega Man 5 complete, which is pretty awesome. And again, cartridge is pretty nice. Manual is a little beat up, but still overall really nice find. And... So then, when I was up while we were in there, I was like, well, I didn't come up here for that, but that was a bonus. So we got, um, we were looking around, and I'm like, well, they had a couple N64s. They had a green one, a purple one, and then they had a purple one that was in the box. 
Now it would be really nice to have, but it was a little on the steep, pricey side. Steep side for price. So anyway, I ended up picking out the purple one with the matching controller. So that was pretty cool. Um, kudos to my wife for <laughs> making me, not making me, giving me the okay to spend the amount of money I spent up there. I spent about, I don't know, it was around 200 bucks or something like that. So, but not bad, not a bad haul. So then, um, the following week, we, uh, we, me, Jason, Raven, and Herman, a couple of buddies of mine, we took a trip up to Green Bay, Wisconsin, because there is a game store that Business 17 recommended. Um, it's all the way up in Green Bay. It's like in an out, outer suburb of Green Bay. I forget the name of it, but uh, it's called Game Trade. And really, really cool store. Um, they just, their prices are just kind of on the high side, uh, you know, kind of like eBay high side pricing, which kind of sucked. Because there was a lot of stuff I could have picked up, but I wasn't going to spend the money on it. Um, but before that, we ended up stopping in Madison, and we stopped at a Pawn America and a couple other stores. Um, this I didn't really find much of barely anything. I didn't really I didn't pick up anything actually. Um, so TJ Kitsune, when he does his pickup video, he has some footage from that, so I'm sure you guys will see that. But anyway, uh, so we were driving back from Green Bay and we stopped in one other store and uh, I found one game I don't really know much about this game but um, uh, Raven said he played it, he said it was fun, it was a really fun game. I saw it, I've seen this before but it's uh, what it is, Marvel Super Heroes The War of the Gems so I've played a little bit of it, it's interesting it's different. Um, I don't know if I really like it, but whatever. It wasn't too bad in price, so I picked it up. But then on the way back, we uh, we stopped in Madison, and we stopped at the. Uh, we wanted to stop at a store called uh, Game Exchange, but they were closed because it was kind of late already. So we ended up going to. They have these other stores. They're called Preplayed. And I don't really like going there because the prices are a little steep, but uh, I didn't have anything. I had one game at the time, and I wanted to pick up some other stuff, so I was like, well, maybe I'll find some. But anyway, so I was looking in the cases and everything, and I found this game, which I heard was fun, but it's kind of, it's really difficult. Cool shoot 'em up Super R-Type. Really fun game, really fun shoot 'em up and then um, I was in the PlayStation section and I found Mega Man 8 the black label. I have the greatest hits green label so I thought that was nice to pick that up so and then uh, I don't normally look where the Game Boy Advance games are but I just happened to be looking around and I found this game which is a pretty uncommon game to find let alone find it complete in box but Mega Man and Base for the Game Boy Advance, complete with manual and everything. The box is in really nice shape. They have a port, another port for the Super Nintendo that I'm looking for, but that one is actually pretty hard to find. So that was what I got from that trip. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. <laughs> Sorry. We went to the first pre play and I was just looking around, and they had a uh, N64 controller, they have the ice blue one. I don't have the ice blues, didn't have the ice blue system, so I was like, well, when I pick it up, I'll have an extra controller. So I thought, eh, why not, right? So anyway, so that was that. And then uh, the following week, I uh, was on Facebook or no, Craigslist. Craigslist, and a guy had a green. Um, N64 for sale and he's like oh I want to make a uh, trade so since I have Mega Man 4 and 5 in the box he was looking for Mega Man 1 through 6 because I guess he wanted to collect 
And I was like, hey, I got Mega Man 4 and 5 for trade if you want to trade something. So he had uh, N6, colored N64 I'd been looking for. So I got the green one now with the controller. It's pretty awesome. And then um, I was like, well, do you have anything else you could trade? You know, because, uh, you know, I just... N64 and what the Mega Man games are worth is kind of not a good trade for me, but whatever. But he's like, oh, I have uh, I have a couple box games if you're interested. I was like, sure. So I ended up picking up along with that Super Mario 64 complete in box with manual. So that was a pretty good trade. And then uh, I went to... A store, this was, this guy lived in Sycamore, which is right outside of DeKalb. So, while I was up there, there's another game store up there. It's kind of like a flea market thing. And they didn't, really didn't have much, but I found Mega Man Extreme for the Game Boy, which I didn't have. And then, <laughs> the next day, I'm on Craigslist again, and this guy is selling this sealed game, sealed copy of this game, and he's only asking $30 for it, and I'm sitting there going, it's a pretty, pretty sought-after game, and I'm sitting there going, wow, you know, that, for 30 bucks, is that too good to be true? So, I give the guy a message, and he's like, well, I'll sell it to you, but you gotta get here, like, in an hour. So, I had my wife with me, I'm like, hey, you wanna go up to Sycamore, and she's like, yeah, whatever. But anyway, so I rushed up there and met up with him and gave him the 30 bucks, and he gave me a sealed, never been opened copy of Zelda. It's the classic series, so it's a gray cart, but this has never been opened. It has the H seal on it and everything, but for $30, I mean, I could not pass that up. Just awesome awesome deal so that was a pretty good score so after that you know I've been looking around on, uh, on Facebook there's a couple uh, Illinois trading game sites and everything and at this point I have five I, I had five of the six colored N64s so I only needed one more uh, 64 left which was the ice blue one and this guy had it and he's he was a collector and he was selling his collection so he's like well if anybody wants anything PM me whatever so I was the first one so he had the he had the blue ice blue N64 with the controller so now I have all of the colored N64s that I was going after and then, also with the deal, he had uh, Mega Man. Whoop! So I drop everything. Mega Man Two for the Game Boy, which I didn't have, which is pretty cool. And then Legendary Wings for the NES. I've heard a lot about this game. It's a pretty cool game. Capcom game. Shoot 'em up. So I was happy to pick that up along with that. And then, as if it couldn't get any better, because this game hunting thing this month has been pretty awesome, a guy, another guy on Craigslist was selling his Super Nintendo with like 15 boxed games, I think, something like that. And one of them caught my eye right away, and he, uh, he wanted to sell everything as a lot. He's like, I won't take... I don't want to sell these games separately, and I'm like, hey, so I messaged him, I'm like, hey, would you take this much for this game? If, you know, I know you don't want to split it up, but whatever. So he's like, well, let me get back to you. So I was waiting, waiting, and he finally gets back to me, he's like, okay, yeah, uh, I guess I can do that, because he was looking up to see what this game would work. But I found another boxed Mega Man game for my collection, which I thought I would never find. But I got Mega Man X complete in the box that this guy was selling. The box is in awesome, awesome shape. Okay, so then, 
Uh, last week, yeah, last week, I was in disc replay again, and they didn't have much. I was with Jason, and he was looking for uh, Dreamcast VMUs, and uh, I'm like, well, I, I'm looking for uh, GameCube because I sold mine like an idiot, but whatever. Um, I was like, do you guys have any of those wireless GameCube controllers? And uh, they're called WaveBirds. And this guy's looking through the drawer, and he's like, yeah, we got one right here. So I thought I picked it up. It's the Chrome, uh, Platinum Chrome WaveBird with the sensor on it and everything. So that was a pretty good score. And then this last weekend here, uh, I was just game hunting. I didn't see anything. I went to a newer, like, pawn shop, and they had a couple game, couple, a lot of PS3 games that were all sports, Xbox games, all sports titles, but I did see this game mixed in the pile, and it was fairly cheap, so, and I didn't have it, I've been looking for it, so I got Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube, and it is, in fact, complete. It's awesome. The memory card is mine, so I've been playing it a little bit. So that was pretty cool. And then, yesterday, which was Saturday, me and Jason um, drove up to Madison again because his friend uh, Laura was up there. Uh, he wanted to meet up with her, so we just met. We left a little early. Went to a couple game stores. Um, we went to that game exchange, which was closed the last time I was up there. And he had this guy that owns it. Had been posting a lot of stuff online, a lot of games that he'd been getting in, a lot of Nintendo games. And one of the games he had I wanted, which was Contra 3 Complete in Box. I didn't know what he was gonna ask for it or if he was gonna even sell it to me. But we ended up going up there and all the games he got was acquired by like a video game store, so they had a bunch of writing on the manuals and the stickers on it. It was just kind of a bummer. But he did have uh, a copy uh, in one of the cases of Vector Man 2. And this copy of Vector Man 2 is like, it looks brand new. Like, I mean, it looks like it's never even been played, the cartridge and everything, and the manual. And before that, I got a copy of Vector Man 2 at Midwest Gaming Classic, but the box was, as you can see, his box is like all chewed up. And then when I opened it up, I noticed it had a ma the manual to Vector Man 1 in it, so I didn't have the manual to Vector Man 2. That was a bummer, but anyway, I found Vector Man 2 yesterday, which was pretty cool. And that's it, I guess. <laughs> a lot of stuff this month. Uh, probably one of my best months for game hunting. Um, a lot of money spent, <laughs> but besides that, it's pretty cool. Uh, I found a lot of really good stuff. And uh, hopefully I'm going to be doing a, uh, a walkthrough collector collection video of this glass case you see back here. It's got all my like Mega Man games, a couple Mega Man stuff, and then I'll do my game collection review and stuff like that. So if you guys like what you see, please uh, comment, subscribe, uh, give it a thumbs up, appreciate it. Um, and hopefully I'll be doing more videos in the future. Until next time, see you guys later. Take care.